I've decided to make a record with Leon Russell um, because I thought he'd been ignored for so long and he was my idol in the late 60s and early 70s. So I contacted him in 2009 and uh, to cut a long story short, we made a record and it's coming out very shortly called The Union. And there's a single called If It Wasn't For Bad, which Leon wrote and sang. Um, it's not often you get an opportunity to work with your idol um, or to make a record with him. And this is one of the most joyous experiences of my life because not only do I love the music on the record, but Leon wasn't in the best of shape physically and personally when he came in to make this record. And by the end of it, he was in much better physical shape and he was much better. Um, he was happy, he felt loved, and uh, it was a wonderful experience to make this record. And it's produced by T-Bone Burnett, who's quite the most extraordinary producer. And I think it's one of the best records that I've ever done. Certainly the most joyous record I've ever done. And uh, to be playing with Leon is a dream come true, which is actually one of the tracks on the album. But uh, we played together in the uh, 70s in America. We did the Fillmore East and uh, two or three other shows together. Um, and it's going to be great playing with him again because uh, we haven't done that for 30, 40 years. So uh, I'm so looking forward to uh, this project, promoting the record and being able to play you know, with two pianos on stage with my idol, Leon Russell. Plan B, I think it's made probably the album of the year and the defamation of Strickland Banks. It's the album I've played the most this year. Um, kind of uh, compare it to the Amy Winehouse record, um, Back to Black in the fact that I played it so much. And it's an extraordinary record considering the fact that the record he made previously was nothing like this, um, much more of a rap record. Um, and I love the arrangements, I love his voice, I love the songs. Uh, it's just extraordinary to hear someone singing like this. Um, and you know, I've never met him, um, I've never talked to him, but I'm really looking forward to uh, playing with him and singing with him um, because as I say, this is a wonderful record, not released in America yet, but when it does, I think it's going to do so well because it's, how could you not love this record? Um, so Plan B is probably my album of the year. Um, but a close second as a, a surprise would be Rumor, who I had six tracks sent to me um, by Todd Interland, who looks after me over in England. And I just could not believe this girl's voice. Um, just extraordinary, a beautiful voice. They don't come along that often. And then uh, you get one that comes along like rumors and uh, she's gonna be a huge star. She's, um, her album isn't out yet, but when it comes out, um, I think it'll be a huge album because she's kind of, I wouldn't say like Karen Carpenter in a way, but it's that kind of beautiful voice like Karen Carpenter. So I, I am comparing her to Karen Carpenter in a, I suppose, but it's this extraordinary voice. Um, and you know, we seem to be in England, uh, capable of bringing these singers out like Adele and um, and Duffy and, and Amy Winehouse and, and now Rumour, people with extraordinary voices. Um, so Lily Allen's another one. Um, so Rumour is my tip for the top. Plan B's already kind of got there with his record. Uh, that's already been a number one album. And I think Rumour's will probably be an album, number one album too.